Today's video is something that was requested for me to do by a couple of different people when they watched my first video, my Get Ready With Me. When I did my lip liner and my lipstick, I just kind of sort of did a time lapse where the video was in fast forward and I wasn't really talking. And someone mentioned to me that they really would have liked to see me explain more um, about how I do my lip liner and my lipstick. They said, hey, you totally sped through that part where you did your lips. Maybe you just assume that everybody knows how to put on lipstick, but not everybody does. And I got to thinking about it and I was like, that's true. When I was making that Get Ready With Me video, I was really concerned with condensing down the time because it was getting pretty long. So if there was anywhere where I could kind of speed up the video and do a fast forward, I did. Not really thinking too much like, oh, Maybe I should have explained that a little bit better. So if you're like the people that suggested that I do this video and you would like to know a little bit more about putting on lipstick, go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is line your lips. The one I'm gonna be using today is the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in the shade 103 Pink Punch. Okay, so the first thing I do when I line my lips is my Cupid's bow. I try to do it in kind of an X pattern. So that's where I start. And it's really hard to do it while talking, so I'm going to explain first and then do it. <laughs> and it's up to you whether you want to overline your lips or not. I don't really like to. I've tried it out because I don't have the fullest lips and I would like to have fuller lips, but not everyone can be blessed like that. Um, I've really tried overlining my lips and I just can't really figure out a way to make it look natural, so... I just do mine normally. Um, a good thing you can get in the habit of doing though is if you don't want to overline your lips, make sure you're not underlining them either because if you go inside the line of your lips, you're not really going to give your lips the full potential either. So what I like to envision in my mind when I'm lining my lips as to avoid overlining or underlining them, I like to picture a coloring book. And instead of coloring inside the lines, I like to pretend that I'm putting my crayon on the black lines of the picture and retracing them. So you don't wanna go exactly inside the line of your lips. You wanna go literally right on the border of where your lip color meets your skin color. And then just continue along the natural line of your lips. I usually will do my top lip first and then my bottom lip and I will save the sides until last. Okay, and then once I get to the point where the only thing I have left are the corners of my lips, I really like to get precise with it. So I'll open my mouth real wide. It's like the least attractive thing ever, but it's necessary. And you just kind of go like this. Because if you try to do it with your mouth closed or, you know, like semi open, you're not really giving yourself access to the corners of your mouth. So I will go ahead and try to line it the best that I can like this and really make sure when you're doing the corners that you don't go too far outside your lip line because it's really going to be obvious it's going to look like you have some bright colored food hanging out of your mouth <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, nothing is out of place in the corners. And that's what you really wanna to try to be careful to avoid. Okay, once we have our lip liner on, we're going to move on to lipstick. The shade I'm gonna be using today is the Maybelline Matte um, shade 687 All Fired Up. This is a really, really super bright pink, but it's matte, so it's safer than if you tried to wear this color in like a satin or glossy finish. So I start in the center of my lips just because it's the easiest. Okay. 
And if you happen to be working with a color that's too far off from the color that you used in your lip liner, just make sure to kind of overlap it a lot. And you can also use a lip brush to kind of blend it together. Um, you don't really have to worry about that too much if your lipstick and your lip liner are almost identical in color. But if not, overlap as close as you can without risking going outside of your lip line. And then when you're done, you can blend it together with a lip brush. And when you go to do the corners, you can kind of do the same thing that you did with the liner. I don't like to apply a lot of lipstick towards the corners of my mouth, but you do have to make sure that you get a little bit of color in there because if you don't, it's going to look strange if you're talking to someone and you open your mouth, they're gonna notice you don't have any lipstick right there. So you can kind of just do it lightly just to get enough color on there, but you don't need to really apply as much pressure as you would when you're doing the center of your lips. Once you're done with your lipstick, you can go back with your lip liner and kind of blend. And like I said before, you can always take a lip brush and use that to help you blend as well. A lot of times if I'm wearing a bright color, I will take a lip liner that's darker. The only one that I really have right now is this red. But if I want to create the illusion of bigger lips, you can go around the outside and kind of make a little bit of a shadow. And one thing you always want to make sure you do when you're done putting on your lipstick is take your finger Go like this and get off all the lipstick that's too close to the inside of your mouth, especially when you're wearing a really super bold and bright color like I am. You don't want to get it on your teeth. Okay guys, that's it. I hope this video was helpful to anyone who might have been struggling a little bit with the way they apply their lipstick. Like I said before, this was a requested video, so if anybody else has any ideas for something they would like me to do, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know. But that's going to do it for today, so go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I will see you guys next time. Bye!